everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Madeline from Knitting House Square and today I have a fun kind of like tool testing video for you. So I have been into quilting recently and recently I was at the thrift store and I saw this really fun looking machine. So I thought today we would give it a try. When I looked these up online, they retailed for like almost $200. I think I found one on Amazon, so I'll link to that one down below if you're curious for the exact price they're selling for right now. But I was actually able to snag this one. It's marked at $65 at my thrift store, and then it was half off because it had been there so long. So I only paid $32.50 for this. So I am very excited to try it out at that price point. <laughs> that way it isn't too big of an investment. But yeah, first up, let's unbox it, see what's inside, and give it a try. So first up, let's look at some of the details of what exactly this machine is. So if you aren't familiar with what bias tape is, bias tape I'm most frequently used for quilts and what I put around the outside of a quilt. So it's like that thin little strip of fabric that goes around the outside. And the way you typically make bias tape is you're going to cut out a wider strip and then you fold it and iron it. So it can be quite time consuming to make sure you're actually like folding it and ironing it just right in place. So what this machine does is it's by Simplicity, the sewing machine company. So you basically cut your wider strips of fabric, then you put it on the machine, it feeds it through, and it's supposed to fold it and then iron it in this little part, and then it comes out basically ready for you to sew. So it says it makes 12 feet of bias tape in 60 seconds, one inch fold, adjustable heat settings, whole bunch of different fabrics you can use it on, and automatic shutoff. So it all sounds pretty cool. And let's see if I can find a year on this. Okay, so this machine is from 2009. And I didn't actually open this up in the store, so I'm just kind of hoping it's all in here. Ooh, it looks like it could be brand new. We have some instructions. A machine. Okay, so definitely not brand new because we've got some scuffs. And hopefully it has a power cord somewhere in here. Fabulous. It does have the power cord. So now what I'm going to do real quick is I'm going to read through these instructions and cut up some fabric so that I can try it out. So now I have, I'm just going to try this out on one strip of fabric. So I cut it to two inches because my machine it came with a one inch one and I have watched other people's videos and they said basically getting the replacements of these that do different sizes is really expensive. I did see some hacks though for how you can use like the cheap ones that they sell on Amazon and modify this. So I'll link their videos down in the description box below in case you're curious about modifying this actual piece. So now let's try winding it on here. So this part is hard to get through and it says to use some like needle nose pliers or something like that to pull the fabric through. I don't have any of those so I'm going to use my Cricut weeding tool. I'm just going to push it through. Snap this back into place. Pull this until the fabric goes 
to where the roller is. Replace the heat cover plate. I do have a little bit of a fold there. We'll see what happens. Turn it on, set the dial. So this one is cotton. Set it there. Now wait for it to heat up. So the green light should come on. Okay, so green light is on. Now I'm just gonna press the button. And there it is. So let's measure this out and see exactly how close to an inch it is. Move this because it's hot. So it's almost exactly one inch. And it looks really good all the way across the back. So this is the end it finished with. Going all the way back across. The first end it doesn't do great on just because it never really gets a chance to go over the iron. So that part you either just have to scrap it or iron that by hand. But I would say that works really pretty well. That is really impressive. So I hope you enjoyed this quick little video of me testing out the Simplicity by Estate Maker. I would say this is great. I had a lot of fun. It is really quick, especially right if I were making all the bias for like a quilt or some really big project, this would be so much faster. So I am very happy with this purchase. I'll leave these linked down below. And next up, I think I'm going to try experimenting with switching out that size there. So that'll be <laughs> my next test with this machine, but I'll have to wait until I order those. So if you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them down below and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.